puppies are eight weeks old now. Getting into mischief, dragging Micah's boots across the room. Hey, that's not for you. No, it isn't. That's not for you. You play with your toys. So we put our, put our static mat right here because we found some little potties in the big kitchen and so I wanted to make their space a little smaller. I've said it many times, if you see potty in the wrong spot, then making their world smaller is really helpful. Since I did this, um, I don't think I've seen any potty accidents. So I kind of moved the trash can, moved their pen to make this barrier. So this is a static mat and it works great. It gives a little static electricity and a beep or a static or a beep. I might just get them on Amazon. They work great instead of a, a gate. Not, you know, if, if there's something dangerous on the other side, I wouldn't trust it with that. But just as a deterrent to keep them from passing a certain area, it works really well. So we have three boys by Micah here, and the girl in the back. We've got our eye on the girl, and the little white boy with the dot who's looking in the litter box, who's in the litter box, he's reserved. The red fawn right there, we're looking at as a possible show prospect. And this little guy with the big dot on his back, is not spoken for yet. Out of the litter, he seems to be, I would say, the more calm and cautious one. I opened the gate. <laughs> I flipped the iris pen back the way it's supposed to go, so now that little cardboard piece is on the top, but I opened the gate on that side, and three of them ran out, and the boy with the dot on his back, he's like, uh, how do I get out? So he's probably the the underdog of the litter, maybe. He still has a great temperament. He's just not quite as enthusiastic as his litter mates, at least the two boys. He figured it out now. If you're interested in a puppy and you have not filled out a puppy application through our website, that's the first step. We do live in Missouri. So that's where the puppies will be picked up. I've met people at Springfield Airport if traveling from out of state. If you have questions about pricing and availability, please visit our website, littlepromiseland.com. I'll put the link below.
Okay, Micah, you want to bring each one closer so we can see, get a better look? <laughs> so there's Benito. He's reserved. Rubiana. Hey. Hey. Say hi. Probably not very comfortable to do it like that. Hey, puppy! Hey! Hey! Come here! They're like, don't push me towards that scary mat. Hey, puppy! Hi, puppy! Oh, the lighting's not very good. Oh, oh. Just can't jump off. And if I don't keep this little girl, there's someone else on our deposit list waiting to see if she can have her. I'm gonna watch her for a few more weeks, though. So. Maybe this little guy as well. He has eyes like his daddy, Harley. Hi, hi, puppy. <laughs> I think they think you're moving him towards the scary mat. All right, thank you, Micah. Sorry, it's kind of early in the morning, so the lighting is not the greatest. Let me pick up that little boy. The, that one there, yeah. And just hold him up to you, like, so he gives you kisses. I want to see his tail, because he always does that. His tail just really goes. <laughs> I would say he's more cuddly than the others. Not, I don't know. They're just, they're all cuddly in their own time, but he's just not quite as rambunctious as the other ones. So I think he would do fine in a home with kids, without kids, with dogs, without dogs. Probably any situation. I can't really think of a situation where he wouldn't do well. If you had a dominant dog, he'd probably be fine with it because he is on the submissive side. I think dominant and submissive tends to be a good combination. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and opt to receive notifications if you want to see more puppy videos when we post them.